My name is Majdari and in this video we will talk about titration. What is titration? What are basic terms which is used in titration? What is what are some types of titration and its application in our common life where titration is used? First of all, we define titration. Titration the analytical method which is used to determine the concentration of unknown solution with the help of solution of non-concentration. Two things are used here in definition. First of all, we say a solution whose concentration is unknown and we determine it. By which method? Titration. And how? By using or with the help of a solution whose concentration is known. In this method, two solutions are used. One whose concentration is unknown and another solution is used whose concentration is known. And we use that titration method and we determine the concentration of unknown solution. Some common terms are also used in titration. First of all, what is titrate? Two things are most most important about titrate. First of all, titrate is always taken in burette. The first thing about titrate is always taken in burette, and another thing, the concentration of titrate is always known. Two things about titrate is remind. One, the concentration of titrate is always known. Second, titrate is taken in a burette. Now, we talk about standard solution. What is standard solution? The solution whose concentration is known is known as standard solution. And another is analyte. The examiner says this is a substance determine its concentration. The substance which is given by the examiner is analyte. We don't know about the concentration of that substance. So we use the titration method and we determine the concentration. The substance whose concentration is unknown. The substance whose concentration is unknown, say that substance is known as analyte. And the last term which is used in titration is titrate. What are titrate? Titrate is always taken in a flask and its concentration is unknown. Its amount is in the solution is always unknown. And the next term which is used in titration is equivalence point. What are equivalence point? We say that when two things are equal, which two things are equal? Titrant and analyte. When the concentration of titrant and analyte are equal, that point is known as equivalence point. The point where the titrant and analyte are present equally. What do you mean by equally? By which basis? It is on the basis of stoichiometric calculation. Equally mean that are present in stoichiometrical calculation. And then, what are the examples of equivalence points posed in an acid based titration? We know that acid always produces H positive ion and base always produces OH negative ion. And in acid based titration, H positive react with OH negative and produce water molecule. When these are present by one mole and it is also present in one mole, then we say that they are in equal amount. And we say we take acid in burette and base in flux. Here we take base. 
OH negative. And then we add H positive from burette. H positive from burette. When titration is started, the concentration of OH negative is high in the conical flask. When we drop titrate or standard solution into the conical flask, then we added H positive wine into the conical flask. A stage come when the concentration of both H positive wine and OH negative wine become equal. That point where the concentration of H positive wine and OH negative wine become equal is known as equilibrium point. And last one is end point. What is end point? Equilibrium point and end point, there is a lot of difference between two terms. And end point is that region or point where a solution change its color, electrical conductivity and pH. That's point where the solution change these three things is known as end point. This is the most important things in titration. End points helps us to determine the concentration of unknown solution. Next is the types of acid base or oh, sorry, next is types of titration. Some common types are acid base titration. This is commonly used in our labs, schools or colleges. And the next type is redox titration. What do you mean by redox titration? If we take a solution in which two ions are present, one is Fp plus 2 and another is Fp plus 3. Fire sign and pericon. We want to determine the concentration of only this sign, pericon. Then we use redox titration. Then we use redox titration. Next is a complexometric titration. Where it is used? It is used in determination of metal ions. Such as we want to determine the concentration of H calcium ion and magnesium ion in hard water. For which purpose we use complexometric titration. And another is non aqueous titration. Some substances are not completely dissociated in water. And then we use a non aqueous solvent, and that's why we use a non aqueous titration to determine the concentration of that substance. And the last one is chloral fissure titration, KFT. Here in this titration, we determine the water content in any substance. Suppose we want to determine the water content in atmosphere. What should we do? We do a carbon pressure titration and then we can calculate the water content in the atmosphere. Last, we see what are the applications of titration. First of all, for first of all, we can calculate the unknown concentration of any substance. Suppose we want to calculate calcium ion in a solution, sodium ion in a solution. We want to determine the base calculation. We want to determine the acid calculation. But for which, for this, we use titration. In the next water content. By using titration, we can calculate water in different substances such as atmosphere and loss is hardness of water. We know that hardness of water is due to two ions, commonly two ions, which are two ions, calcium ions and magnesium ions. If we want to determine the concentration of these two ions, then we use titration. That is all about titration.